Hello, I'm Jin. I'm a graduate from Sorbridge International School of Business. I work at Mercedes-Benz USA as a supply chain analyst in part logistic departments here in Atlanta. I do order automobile parts from Germany, domestic vendor and forecasting inventory management. Just a few years ago, I didn't know I would work at Mercedes-Benz, but with my experiences and lecture, I gained confidence in English. Sturbridge is a bridge to global job market that has unlimited opportunity and with diligence and hard work, you can achieve your goal through Sturbridge too. See you soon. Hi everyone, my name is Aigrim and I came from Kazakhstan. I have graduated Solbridge in 2016. Now I'm working in Korean company named GL Rafa. This company is pharmacy company and I'm exporting the products of the company to CIS countries. Uh, I'm really thankful to the Solbridge for helping me out. Uh, thanks to CDC director, I got introduced to the company I'm working in. Uh, also, I want to thank my, the Solbridge faculty uh, for all the knowledge they gave to me. For you guys, I want to give some advices. Uh, I want you to learn Korean language because it is really important to know Korean in if you want to work in Korean company. And also you have to learn the Korean culture because if you don't feel the culture, uh, you cannot adapt to it. Thank you. Встретимся в Корее! Hello, my name is Yuxi Liu. I'm from China. I studied in Sobridge for two and a half years. I graduated in 2015, the fall semester. And now I'm working in the U-Base, which is the partner side of Airbnb. And we are the first customer center in the APAC. Now I'm working as a trainer of the trust and safety department. After six months of working, I got promoted for this position. And what I benefit from my experience in Sobridge is that I I got the global perspective to encourage me to go further, not only stay in your comfort zone. And also I got the multicultural competence for working in the multicultural working environment because our team do have Chinese team, Japanese team, and also Korean teams. What my advice for the student here is go for all the activities that the school provided you because those experience you had According to those activities, they are going to benefit your life or your future career in a way you might not, cannot imagine for now. So just try to get out and get, get yourself involved with all of those activities. My name is Xing Min Zhou and I graduated in 2016 February. Currently, I'm pursuing a master's degree in global affairs and policy with a double concentration in international development and international security. Um, currently, I also translate for Seoul National University. I also teach debate at a private institution I'm located in Dangnam in Seoul. Um, the experience that I was able to have at Seoul Bridge was what allowed me to be equipped with, a, with the cross-cultural competence and uh, global insight and for me to uh, meet and interact with so many students from so many countries was something that I could not acquire elsewhere. So at Seoul Bridge, you can experience multiculturalism on an everyday basis, from classroom discussions to presentations to case competitions, and the school environment itself is truly international. So if you would like to experience something that's international, something that's multicultural, and something to accumulate your cross-cultural competence, Seoul Bridge is the place to be. Thank you. My name is Yashika. I work for a German mobile marketing company called Sharepop. And how Solbridge helped me to gain this job is that I did a lot of networking. So for students, please be proactive and take all the benefits and all the opportunities that the school have for you. And sampai jumpa di Korea. My name is Andre. I'm from Brazil originally. And I graduated Solbridge around February 2015. Uh, a couple of months after that, um, I got myself a job at an IT startup firm here in Seoul uh, and I've been working there ever since. So the things I do at this startup company is of late mostly related to front-end development so that's like programming languages and all that kind of stuff. I also help them with a little bit of design so that mostly means designing catalogs and kind of stuff 
uh, that we show to our clients. My experience in Soulbridge kind of helped me just get started up into this new industry. So I would, I would like to talk about uh, these two ways. First of all, to talk about like what were some of the direct benefits that I got from uh, things I learned in Soulbridge, either from classes or something of that sort. So the first and most obvious example is like language skills and I did broken that into English and Korean language skills. So for English, um, back when I first started Soulbridge, my English was not really that great. Uh, nowhere near what, what we you'd be able to call professional level or anything of the sort. I've seen pretty big improvements in my English that allowed me to be able to tell them that I don't have any problem talking to clients in English or having meetings or anything of that sort. So definite benefit there. Korean language skills was a little bit complicated because I got that inside and outside of Soulbridge but being in Soulbridge definitely gave me an environment where I, I could get to practice it uh, directly with people that I would be more comfortable talking to and it's a big part of how I managed to get my job because nobody in my company speaks English so I had to do all the interviews and my day-to-day -day living is all done in Korean so that's a pretty big direct benefit that I get from that uh, last uh, direct benefit that I got would be having sort of public speaking skills. I was pretty much involved in debate and I did a couple of other ter um, tournaments or championships and all that kind of stuff inside Soulbridge and outside of it. So that kind of allowed me to tell my employers that I'm pretty confident when it comes to actually standing up in front of large amounts of people and you know just talking to them and not really being nervous or anything of the sort. So these are Soulbridge having its ACSB accreditations, having, you know, all these foreign students and everything kind of passes on the message for people like my employer that um, it has a pretty, like, sturdy academic environment for its students and the people who come out of there, myself, uh, would be pretty fast learners and would be kind of active in the workplace which allowed them to be like, okay, you don't know design, you don't know coding, but we'll take you in because we think that we can get you up to speed with all that, which turned out to be the case, and you know, that was great. And the last thing that was an indirect benefit is because I have all of this background and the language skills and all that, it kind of creates like a boasting material for the company. Uh, and it, as much as it sounds ridiculous, um, I lost count of how many times people from my company took me on to client meetings just for the sake that they could introduce me and say you know he knows this many languages and he can do all these things so these are kind of the direct and indirect benefits that I got from Solbridge that still to this day I feel like I can I keep reaping off these benefits thanks Hello everyone my name is Aik I'm currently working in Malaysia as IT help desk in IBM company what I learned from Soulbridge is I learned multicultural communication skills. Soulbridge taught me how to interact, communicate, and avoid conflict when communicating with people from different cultures or backgrounds. Every day when I work in here, I have to deal with a lot of customers from different countries such as Japan, Malaysia, Singapore, China, and also Thailand. So with this skill, it helps me significantly to increase customer satisfaction and reduce customer complaints. Thank you so much, Sobridge, to giving me these opportunities.